Hey guys, um, Raymond Johnstone here, Cloth Avatar, whatever, whatever you want to call me, who cares, uh, nobody really wants to call me anything. Um, so I just want to talk to you guys about a new project that I'm working on now. Um, shut down Steam Stars, buyback is running right now. Uh, if you're curious about that information, you can take a look at the blog post, which I'll link below. Um, but... So the project that I'm working on right now is about open accessibility to water. Okay, so just really bare bones. I'm doing my best to actually target uh, with the next slew of projects that I'm going to be working on. Um, I, I To give a little preface, actually, I recently went through about three and a half months of homelessness uh, throughout this pandemic. And um, I really realized how broken um, I've, I've been homeless before. So I, I knew, you know, kind of I had an idea of how broken things are, but I didn't I didn't really realize how broken things are in terms of accessibility to even the most basic human rights like fresh drinking water. Uh, you know, in North America, Canada, more specifically, we, t we tend to take these kind of things for granted um, because for the most part, they are given, right? Like, you, you, it's, it's inevitable that you take things that you have uh, every day for granted. That's, that's just kind of guaranteed. Um, unless, of course, you're thinking introspectively and you're conscious of, you know, whatever. But, so, the project is called Clearwater. And um, the idea is to just publicize, so it's really kind of bare bones. Um, the idea right now is to just publish uh, on, on an open access, uh, um, via an open access method, uh, which I'm choosing to use a combination of technologies to, to, to accomplish this. But um, basically, the, the idea within it is for anyone to be able to gain access to this information, assuming they have a computing device and access to internet, okay? Um, and it, it, the, the plan within that is for it to be, you know, like, useful far into the future. So I'm storing it on the blockchain on the very back end, but I'm making use of a technology called uh, IPFS. Um, which is uh, interplanetary file system. I know it's a sci-fi, very sci-fi name. Interplanetary file system um, for my big data dumps. Storing information on Ethereum is just not um, financially feasible. So uh, basically, um, the application runs the, the application runs the API as sort of a digester after a particular amount of um, entries, which will be longitude, latitude, and altitude um, of, of fresh running uh, potable spring water. Obviously, I can't guarantee, I'm not going to be guaranteeing the safety of the water or anything like that. We're not, I'm, I'm, the clear water itself is not going to be providing testing of any of these uh, waters or anything like that, but these, these are going to be fresh spring sp springs. And um, we're going to be providing uh, the, the GPS locations of them. And uh, the front-end application that I'm not in development of yet, but this, this, is, this is just kind of like the back-end application. But the front-end application um, will run on a mobile device and give you a map and give you nearby wells. And, and yeah, the... Kind of the target is a, a more open and accessible uh, way to find out where to get fresh water. Okay, so if you guys like to check that out, you know where to find it all. Like, follow, subscribe, all that, blah, blah. I don't even want to hear from me, so don't. Why bother? <laughs> okay, love you guys. Peace.